guys, this is Larry. This is day 28 of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. So, hope you enjoyed that uh, intro video. I'm still in Turkey, I'm still in Kamu Um Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, hope you enjoy it. Uh, anyway, I'm doing today's poem. Also, another thing to note is now you get to see it here. My, um, my hotel room has, of course, a painting of New York. <laughs> Don't know. Eh, I'm too lazy to zoom in, but just take my word for it. So it's kind of, eh. you can leave New York, but somehow it follows you. Anyway, today's poem is 1329, sort the matrix diagonally. A matrix diagonal is a diagonal of lines. So da, 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 okay, give it, sort you. Okay. So this seems like an implementation poem. I don't know that there's anything that tricky about it. Mm, other than that you have to do it, right? Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything that, I mean, yeah, you just, mm, yeah. Now, uh, that said, how do I want to do it, right? I guess there, there are really only a couple of ways to do it. Um, yeah, okay. The way that I would do it is just keeping track of the diagonal. I have to think about which one is which one, right? So, and this is my fault, um, so my bad about not having the visualization because um, because I'm you know away right now I'm in Turkey as you can see so yeah so the diagonal let's see right from zero zero one one two two so this diagonal and if you think about that then y minus x or x minus y I guess doesn't really as long as you're consistent is the same across each diagonal so from that we can just do something like maybe diagonal zero connections dot um, def default deck, you have a list, and then now for x in range of r, for y in range of c, this is just, oops. Uh, yeah, this is just setting it up, and then diagonals of x minus y, we append uh, matrix of x, y. Matt is always so weird, but um, okay. So then now we just have to do for key in diagonals at keys, uh, diagonals of key, the sort, dot sort. Huh, why am I doing so true? And then now after that, uh, um, actually let's make it a deck because then now we can do pop left. Otherwise you have to keep track of the index, which is fine. Um, this one, right? It doesn't get highlighted, which is why I'm... Um, oh, really? Okay, well then we can convert it to a list and then... Um, mm, I mean, we, we can do it some way. Maybe we could do something like this and then... Something like that, maybe. Just that one. Just syntax things. Okay, well, let's see if that runs. And this is just me being lazy about. Um, <clears throat> so I could do something like this. And of course, we're manipulating the input. Maybe we shouldn't do that, but uh, default. Diagonal uh, x minus y as long as we're consistent. Okay, so that looks good. Let's give it submit. Ah, kind of done it twice before. I imagine it's the same idea. Uh, Eight hundred eighty day streak. Yay! That's all I have for today. Um, yeah, because I'm gonna go back to doing some hiking as you can see from the video. So I'll see you soon. Stay good. Oh, wait, wait, let me go over the complexity first. Man, I'm really... So there are going to be, at most, R plus C diagonals. So if you sort each of those, um, but it's it's going to be N log N, uh, where N is R times C, so R times C log R times C. That, that's just the summation of, like, the upper bound, right? Maybe you can have a tighter bound, but that's roughly it. In terms of space, this is R times C, like, linear in the size of the input, because the linear uh, is referring to R times C in this case. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. So I'm trying to get out of here and you know do do my usual stuff and then go get hiking. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.